Hey folks, it's the early hours of the morning as is normal for me when I sit here trying to make some entertainment or trying to make something to raise people's spirits and perhaps bring people together. Tonight, I feel I have something different to say. Because if those of you who've watched my previous post, that wonderful video that shows you perhaps what we should be learning from this coronavirus episode, that needs to be seen. I would love you all to sit down and watch it with your families, watch it with your children and decide what kind of a life, what kind of a world you want to come out of this with. In contrast to that, I've been so disgusted and appalled and disappointed by the fact that we seem to be returning at this pivotal point to the world that we had before. I don't believe this country wants that. I believe this country wants a better world. The world before is the one that got us into this mess. It needs to be changed. And you, Mr. Boris Johnson, I believe you can do that. I believe you're a decent man and a man of some balls and some sense, but some terrible mistakes have been made under your watch. This country went into this crisis with a, a national health that had been severely crippled by successive policies of successive governments, your predecessors, under-equipped, underfunded, and we sent those doctors and nurses into battle without proper protection, which I think is a scandal which we forever must be ashamed of. What's more, we went into this with an attitude that everything was fine and the world was fine and we should put up with all the, the ills that the world brings. We should put up with the fact that animals suffer everywhere. We should put up with the fact that there's gross inequality and people starving on the streets. So many things that are wrong. We thought we should put up with the fact that the air is black with planes polluting the atmosphere. The roads are black with cars polluting everything. We're consuming fossil fuels at a ridiculous rate. We are wrecking the environment of the world. We are taking away the habitat of all creatures. And we are farming creatures for our own benefits without any regard for their welfare whatsoever. I was so disgracefully unbelievably disappointed to find that we are apparently going to put things back to normal. We're going to put HS2 back on the road. This road that we don't need, which is destroying swathes of countryside, it's the wrong direction. It's the wrong way to go. We should be aiming for a world where we don't have so many roads. There should be less roads. There should be less planes. We need to listen to that video. Boris, you're not listening. You're not hearing. You have a chance to make history, the most wonderful history that anyone could imagine. You have the chance to bring us out of this crisis to a world which is better than it was before. Cancel HS2. Cancel the Badger Cull, this ridiculously cruel and pointless and ineffective way of preserving an industry which is abusing animals anyway. It's time to rethink. I've been spending my time trying to save the dairy industry as well, but it's time to rethink now. We should not be eating animals. It's so, so plain that eating animals is the cause of so many of our ills, including climate change, <clears throat> including possibly the, the emergence of viruses that would otherwise not come out from animals. We have to change everything. It's time to, you can do radical things. You can put an enormous tax on meat products, fish products, dairy products. You can give subsidies to farmers to retrain, re-equip, to make plant foods, to change the way we treat the planet. Do you remember when it was impossible, the idea that we could ban smoking because of commercial interests? That's the case now. It seems to be impossible. Well, it's not impossible. It can change. I like this world. I like this world where I can hear the birds sing. A lot of people out there agree with me, I think. I like this world where animals are not getting killed on the roads the whole time, unnecessarily. I like the fact we have clean air to breathe. I like the fact that there are fish in Venice, etc., etc. So much of the world is benefiting from the fact that the hard, cruel, insensitive hand of man has been checked for a while. Please, please take a moment to change things. Change the way that we move forward. Do not move us back into the world that got us into this mess. Move us into a better world, a, a world where the right values are prioritized, a world where what matters is the welfare of people and animals, not money, a world where we actually care about everything around us and we don't sacrifice it all to build our personal wealth. Let us try. I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice some things. 
we're looking again at the way we, we tour and the way we travel and every, the way we do our business. Everybody is. It's time. It's time to change. Let us please not go back into raping the world again, to raping this beautiful country of ours. It deserves better. Please listen. Change things. It's time. A quick postscript. We have a prime minister who actually didn't have the balls to take us into lockdown quick enough. And I'm sure it's because of economic considerations, fears that damage to the economy might be worse than thousands of lives lost. Not clear thinking. We have a prime minister who didn't have the sense to follow his own guidelines as regards social distancing and handshaking or whatever, and so got sick. And at the very moment when this country needed strong leadership, he was absent. Nevertheless, I believe it's time to take the reins. I believe it can be done. This country needs leadership to a new place a place where we start all over again with new priorities. I believe this government is up to it. I'm not a party political person whatsoever. It doesn't matter to me, party agendas from the past. I believe new agendas can be drawn up and this government can do it. If it can't do it, it has to step aside and let other people take over because we need a new Britain, not the old Britain.